Welcome back to our show. I'm Denby Dung. The Shetland Sheepdog is a graceful, agile, intelligent, loyal, and hardworking dog breed. Let's learn more about them with Malin Moore in It's All About the Breed. And today it's all about the Shetland Sheepdog. I'm here at the 76th annual Shetland Sheepdog uh, Show in Honolulu. And with me right now is Donna Crabtree. Hi, Donna. Hi. And I want to know a little bit about the background of the, uh, of the, of the Sheltie. The Sheltie traces back to the Shetland uh, Islands and it actually goes back to the Border Collie and resembles the Collie in miniature. Are they related? They are in distant ancestry, yes, but there are significant differences in terms of size and structure. The Shetland Sheepdog, known most commonly as a Sheltie, is believed to have originated in England or France in the early 1900s and were originally bred to herd as sheep in the Shetland Islands, hence their name. They were first recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1911. As they were being developed, they were bred to the rough collie and were first known as Shetland Collies, but collie owners objected because they were a mixed breed, so the name was changed to Shetland Sheepdog. It's believed that the original Shelties may be related not only to border collies, but possibly to the King Charles Spaniel and even the Pomeranian. And I'm with Susan M. Chetta right now. And who do we have with us, Susan? We have here Champion Barwoods Bon Jovi. If somebody's interested in getting a Sheltie, how much maintenance is involved? Well, like all dogs, you need to pay attention to the dogs. But I, what I do is at least a weekly brushing, maybe twice a week and um, a bath maybe once a month. The brushing really takes care of the coat. And are Shelties big shedders? Shelties do shed. Some of them shed more than others, but typically you can expect a female to shed at least twice a year when she goes through her hormone cycle. Uh, and the males maybe once a year, yeah. Uh, but there is regular shedding that comes, just a little bit. As for health issues, Shelties can be prone to suffer from diseases of the eyes. Puppies should also be tested for epilepsy, hip dysplasia, skin allergies, and a certain type of bladder cancer. There are now DNA tests that can identify these problems while they're still pups, as well as having their parents tested before breeding. Breeding between two dogs of the same color can also produce problems, including making a puppy who is blind or deaf. And now we're here with Susan. And Susan, who do we have here? This is Frankie. He's my grand champion. How old is he? He's three years old. Tell, tell us about the temperament. Shelties are a wonderful breed. Um, they're really good around children, and they love to be with you. Their favorite spot is under your computer desk, just waiting to see and talk to you and spend some time with you. Are they barkers? They can be if you don't discipline them. So you need to make sure that you are doing some training with your dog, because you want to make sure that you do have a very friendly dog for the neighborhood, too. Shelties do well in apartments, but as with most dogs, they need their breaks and a good walk or two each day. They are still used as sheepdogs and may participate in sheepdog trials. Many are still used in ranch situations, and in addition to sheep herding, they're also great to herd chickens, ducks, geese, goats, and cows. And I'm now with Jack. Jack, who do we have with us? Well, this is Rumor. Rumor? How... How did he, she? She. How did she get her name? Well, um, if you've ever been around dog shows a lot, it's kind of like acting. Um, it's kind of um, little clicks within the dog world. And so her official kennel name is Linrock Ringside Gossip. So we decided to call her Rumor. And how old is Rumor? Rumor is 11, still plays ball, very energetic, and very healthy. And now you know all about the Shetland Sheepdog, the Sheltie.